Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new review. Uh, let's jump immediately to the Volkswagen T-Cross. This is the R-Line version. Next to it is the regular version. I'm gonna check the R-Line. New design. I mean, the car looks tall on the pictures, but it's kind of small SUV, uh, boxy looking. Kind of reminds me of the Japanese cars. This is price 18,000 euros. It's in German, so let's move around I believe there's a radar behind the badge lane assist camera on the top beautiful LED design these are the tires um, kind of greasy but I would say maybe 18 inch if I'm not mistaking our line badge I like the skirt as you can see the regular doesn't have that Going to the side, there's the new lights. Not Volkswagen classic lights that you would get usually. Bumper is different, as you can see on the base model, parking sensors. Let's start from the back and open the trunk. Thick, small crossover, spacious trunk, spare wheel room. Uh, you can slide the back seats so can get a little bit extra space I'll show you that back plastic on the back um, seats are nice these are leather white stitches some sort of Alcantara cloth in the middle you can pull that so the seats can slide on the back two USB chargers little space there LED lights on the top if I sit I was not sitting on the front so I did not adjust the seat for my height, but enough room. I would say enough headroom. Uh, maybe a little bit more would be nice, but I'm a two meters tall, not average person. And let's check out the front of the car. This is like a baby brother of the T-Rock on the front. It's that plastic there's some savings but there's nice soft leather over here controls for windows these are the seats they are profiled so they can support you our line logo this is more friendly cloth no leather here probably an optional okay so I have enough room so I guess there's a lot of room on the back as well which is nice this is the new steering wheel leather aired here and these are the new buttons I wish there was like volume um, something they could turn but this is the new steering wheel with our line badging and digital cockpit AC vents I believe as you can see here ambient lights auto switch this is kind of blank because you have automatic lights A little cubby here cheap plastic on the top this is the entry model, also cheap plastic here. SD cards, two of them, CD, DVD player. Uh, I don't see any AC here. In the storage compartment, you have automatic AC here, parking off, parking sensors, self-parking hazards, and driving mode. This is the probably seven speed or six speed automatic. Uh, this is the new lever, it looks nice. There's a button here you can press. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Start stop engine button. A little rubber compartment with the illumination on the bottom. Really nice. This is sort of my viewing angle on the top mirror. Uh, this is a black top since it's an R line on the top mirror. No LED lights. You have LED lights over here. Emergency call and we have a i guess this is maybe 12 inch radio infotainment plastic volkswagen you have here navigation has the cards not inside you have car um and have menu pretty responsive uh touch screen good quality i would say if you ask me and there's the digital you can change view here probably if the car was on so the car is currently not on and Interior-wise, I would say it's a um, spacious car. 
but maybe I can turn a little bit front. If you're an average person, there's enough space on the front and the back. And over here, not to miss, cup holders, manual handbrake, adjustable armrest, has levels, um, kind of small area here, but something can fit in over there, a little space here as well. Now the seats are nice, they do support you. And on the back, as you can see, um, I don't know if I turn, I don't know if it's that a blind spot, you can actually see here enough. And that's about it. I didn't miss anything leave your comments below of course two usbs over here i wish one was usb c like in audi cars and of course a 12 volt charger overall nice i would say car it looks comfortable uh price is good entry so this is the r line have that in mind you have boss speakers or boss eh? i'm gonna if you have here um sport pedals this is the petrol engine so i'm gonna pop the hood hope no one's gonna mind this is a review just to see push to the left uh, no dampener so I have to hold the engine bay I mean the hood and TSI engine pretty standard and just leave it to drop and let's come back to the engine so this is TSI I believe 1.0 uh, probably three cylinder uh, says here 100 and 15 horsepower so yeah and just gonna quickly jump to the okay so they're talking here uh, just gonna go around to see the price tag of the base model And that's about it guys uh, this is a press day so there's a lot of people talking here they just stopped me from getting into the frame uh, which is understandable like this video tell me in the comments what do you think about the UT cross do you like it subscribe to the channel leave your comments uh, I want to hear your opinions there's gonna be more cars around you Skoda Scala Audi uh, lots of new cars so check the channel subscribe I'm gonna see you in the next one